Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 22. Things have been so hectic since the term started. It's already been 7 weeks. Time sure does fly by. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do life as a DPT student in a long time. But things have been crazy. Let me just update you on what has been going on. So I've really been pushing for Live for Change. It's constantly being refined but things are moving. I have shirts printed on, I got stickers. My business partner and I have been working really hard and some hats and some t-shirts are on their way. Feel free to suggest what you want as far as more apparel. The hashtag Live for Change challenge is growing. We are now on the third round of the challenge and people are loving it. The challenge now has a contest where if you win, you get a cash prize. Some cash money, cha-chang-chang. -chang. Cha chang chang change what the change is changing i also recently got engaged for everyone who gave me their blessings thank you very much i had someone record the whole entire event so i'm gonna be posting that video pretty soon speaking of cheese one two three ah. one first man, he said cheese i was a photographer come on let's go mrs I rolled my ankle playing basketball. I went down the court, did a little cross multiply, and I went for a jump shot. And when I came down, boom. That's where the injury always happens. I rolled it pretty bad. But hey, at least I made the shot. Totally worth it. Not. So at least I'm implementing all my DPT knowledge to get that swelling down. And finally, DPT school. <sighs> Let me just tell you, that this is by far the most difficult season of my life. I thought I went through trials and tribulations, but there ain't nothing like this. This time, it is so difficult. There's just so much to learn and it's a lot of stuff. We're taking three solid courses, neuroscience, cardiopulmonary, and orthopedics. Ortho. Nero is pretty cool. We go to cadaver lab often and we get to see an actual human brain and spinal cord. We are currently learning about all the cranial nerves. I found a mnemonic online that really helped me out. Oh, oh, oh. To touch and feel a girl's. The cardio palm course is hard. There's just so much to learn about the heart and lungs. Who knew? It's not only about the physiology about those organs, but it's also about the application. Heart sound, lung sound, how to treat an acute patient. What are the contraindications of patient transport? If they had an open heart surgery, what can you and cannot do as a physical therapist? And this is all really important because later when we treat these patients in the hospital, we gotta know this stuff. We're gonna be a physical therapist. It's actually pretty cool because our professors created this app and this app helps us learn along the way. It helps us organize and it even has videos to help us along the way. And there's ortho. Oh my lord. It's like a big bowler just came and hit me. I love this class so much, but there is so much information. Do you, do you go full range of motion or just... Dr. Wong's gonna find out. I don't know my stuff. I did? The legs are reaching under the legs, I'm reaching in the interspinal space. I'm going to put my pointer finger in the space I'm testing. I'm going to discuss this class in the next episode because there's just a lot of stuff. But this class, basically, it's like if you get an ankle injury or right after your knee surgery, you go to physical therapy. This is the class where we learn how to do all that stuff. We are learning to be outpatient ortho clinician. So we will be getting into that in the next episode. Our professors here have created multiple apps to help you with your assisting. You can find them in the link below with PhysioU. There's also an ortho app that I'll be discussing about next time. So that's it. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Peace.